When it gets dark at 4 o'clock, I pass out on the couch, fold over like a drunk mid-snack, as if I'm not just bored, but narcoleptic. There's no fighting it. This is heaven on earth, being dead to the world. The TV blares. Between shows, the kids climb onto me like a pack of puppies. They lick my face and tickle my armpits, and when I don't respond, they poke. My skin is flushed and warm, but doesn't spring back where their fingers push. The depressions remain. In meat terms, that's an indicator of being past prime. I am no longer good. This show's a literary salon that we're hosting. Um, we partner with a woman named Vika Miller who hosts uh, every six weeks. She has a, a literary salon, and tonight it's all about the short stories. We have four short story writers who are some of the best short story writers today. They're all women. So this is a typical evening where um, we've got a solo show up with an artist named Carol Eisner, who's an artist in her late 70s, New York-based, who's primarily known as a sculptor. A few people know that she had a very active career as a painter in the 60s, 70s, 80s, into the early 90s, and stopped. And the series is called Swimmers and Dancers, and they were inspired by her five children uh, growing up, watching them dance, swim, be chaotic in the house. I'm actually one of those five kids. She's my mother. The colors that you see in this painting are, again, typical of the boldness with which Carol approaches a canvas, superimposing colors that you might not think would work well together, bright orange over purple with green, and um, she, she can do it. She's a, a brilliant colorist. We're not a white box gallery. We love to speak with people when they walk into the room. We want to know how the paintings make them feel. And um, so the, the gallery was founded very much with that in mind. We represent about 25 artists who are painters, sculptors, photographers, printmakers. It's a very diverse body of artists, a mix of emerging and emerged mid-career artists. I slouch deeper. I used to be afraid I'd turn out curved like Judy Bloom's Dini and no one would want to fill me up. Now I realize that fear was misplaced. I'd marry. I'd become an adult. I'm delighted to be able to offer a safe space where people can read their work um, and not be judged, but be applauded for making art. Can't hide when you come in here. We know you're here. We love that you're here, and we want to talk to you about what you're seeing.